gets away. A chance at third. Rendon out. It took Wilson Ramos a minute to find it. And Ren Rendon really cradled that two hand grab. And the Tigers are looking into their dugout here. So let's look at it again together and see if the Tigers are going to challenge this. Wilson Ramos, not a guy that's going to go to his knees and block it. He's a glove catcher. Makes a nice recovery. Good pick by Anthony Rendon. Did the tag get in there in time? I don't know. Tigers will challenge. Close. Here's the expo. This will probably give you a good idea what the call is going to be. Rend oh, the ball's in Rendon's hand. I didn't see that until that angle. Cabrera stayed on the base, so check that box. Well, now we know why Anthony Rendon didn't just lay the glove down in front of the bag. The ball wasn't in the glove. I mean, the, the bottom line is Wilson Ramos tried to glove that ball and to get by him. <laughs> and if you go to your knees and block it, it stays right in front. And Miguel Cabrera is standing on second still. What do you got? I, don't I, th know. I think if he stayed on the bag, he's safe. But they called him out, so it has to be indisputable. Did the ball touch his leg right there? His knuckle, did his right knuckle. <laughs> That's what we're down to. I'm breaking down a play where did his right knuckle, did the hair on his right knuckle touch his feet? He's out. The call stands. Two five. Castellanos to second. Probably uh, called it a wild pitch. New but. York said that the replay clearly showed that his right knuckle hit the Achilles tendon of Miguel Cabrera before his pinky toe hit the base. That's the official review.